Hi, welcome to Analytics for All. In today's lesson, we're going to be learning to create a QR code using Python, which is a couple lines of code using the PyQRO code. Uh, as with all my lessons, I have a write-up on my website, uh, analyticsforall.org. I will have a link for this down in the description. Uh, for those of you who might have been using my Python testing shell, unfortunately, this will not work with this because it does not come with the QR code module, and there's no way to install a module on this shell. So if you do have Anaconda installed on your machine, uh, it'll work, but Anaconda doesn't come with this QR code either. So what you need to do is go down here, go to your Anaconda prompt. I'll bring this over. It popped up in the wrong screen, but anyway, you go there and you'll just type in. Let me see if I can zoom in for you so you're not. I know this is quite the hard thing to view here, so let's go ahead. We'll try zooming. Okay, there we are. And you'll just type in into here, you'll type in pip install pyqr code. And you'll just run that. I've already got it, so it doesn't have to just hit enter. It'll run. Don't worry about it. I've already got it installed, so I'm not going to do it again. And if you want, I just have it written right here. You can just copy and paste it into your uh, thing when you got it up. Uh, okay, let's go ahead. Let's open up a Jupyter Notebook, and I'll show you how I do this one here. Let's see. So we've got it here. And I'm going to open up our Jupyter Notebook and reset it real fast. Uh, if you ever need to reset one, just know all outputs and clear. And now let's go ahead and zoom in a little. Okay. Let me adjust this better. Okay. So, start by import the PRL code. If you hit this and nothing happens, you get a number. That means you're good. It worked. Okay. Uh, this is where you end up make, saving a file. It's going to end up as a PNG file, so you want to know where it goes. So I just put this PW, because this is present working directory. It tells you where it is. Okay. Well, you can change this if you want. You can use the uh, OS... Thing and you know the OS module and you can change it but if I'm just you could keep where it is that the users be are all right next thing we're gonna go ahead we're gonna pick a URL to go to I'm gonna use my website analyticsforall.org I just name it this uh, I could have put it in here typed it myself but I, I think it's always better just to get used to using variables you know it's a good habit all right so now another variable I just created again these variable names you can name them anything you want X Y doesn't matter we're going to put in the PR code, and we're going to do the create module. I'm sorry, the create method. So dot create parentheses. Whenever you see dot something with parentheses, that's a method on the system above here. So put the URL into the parentheses, and I'm going to run this. And notice I got a print, but it's not going to give you a QR code. What it gives you is the information on the QR code. You're not going to be able to print the QR code out this way. So what we're going to do next is we're going to make it into a PNG file. So this is why I wanted to know where this file is going to end up. So go ahead, QR code, PNG, and I just named it QR code. You know, so the methods.png. I just named it QR code because I wanted to. PNG. Scale. Uh, I picked 12. gives me a good size on my monitor. You can play with different sizes. Go down, go up, you know. Uh, it'll give you different sizes of the actual things so let's go ahead we will run this okay now I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the file it'll be in my directory and here it is you can see it's got the name QR code.png I got it pretty big so you'll be able to see it and I unfortunately I don't know how to do it show you on my phone how it works but if you scan this with your phone you should be able to get it'll take you right to my website so again this is a really cool quick way to make a peak uh, QR code for anything you want you know, you can make these, you got a little business, you want, you know, make business cards or something like that. You don't want to pay somebody to do it. Just go ahead. It's just a couple lines of code. It's free to make. You can make as many as you want. All right. Good. Thank you for joining me at analyticsforall.org. Uh, again, please welcome, I'm sorry, please visit my website. I'll put the link down in the description again. And like, subscribe to this uh, channel. Let me know if anything else you want me to go over, any kind of other lessons you want me to film. Thanks again for joining me.